Hey friends, uh, this is Nirmal for NirmalTV.com and today we are going to review a new camera app for Android phones and it's called uh, Focal. So Focal is a fully featured uh, camera app uh, uh, for your Android devices. Uh, it comes out, uh, comes with quite a lot of features like burst mode, primer mode, scene mode, uh, shutter speed etc. Uh, it also comes with uh, panorama feature and then uh, pix sphere is there and uh, quite a lot of other features. So it has created a neat interface as well and uh, the app is open source and the code is available for download. So we'll have a quick look at uh, this app and see what's the feature, what are the features inside. So we have installed the app. So once you install it, yeah, you can see the welcome screen. So the, the options are in the sidebar, just slide it, okay. So just uh, click on the okay. The shutter button to take the pictures, uh, slide to access other capture modes. So there you go. So we have the um, camera app uh, open right now. So you can see I can just uh, slide from the sidebar to see the options. So you have the flash, white balance, uh, scene mode, uh, HDR, FX, exposure, color adjust, etc. So we'll see the options. So, so when you click flash, you have auto, disabled, enabled and torch. You can use it as a torch. You can just uh, pin it here. So if you pin it, it will come uh, down here. That means it will be available all the time. So if you don't want, you can just unpin this and it will be moved from there. Next is the white balance. Uh, you can set automatic, uh, fluorescent, daylight, etc. So those are the options here again you can pin it here so just uh, going from there next to the scene mode you have night party sunset then you have the HDR mode HDR can be switched on and off then you have the FX black and white negative sepia posterized solarized etc then you have the exposure you can make the photos brighter or uh, darker or you can have the default values then you have the color composition you can adjust them so those are the options here so let's uh, let's keep this phone and see the so other options include a um, pic sphere here a uh, front facing camera then you have the video camera then you have panorama and finally the photo so these are the options you can uh, change it from here so those are the options so if I select the panorama it will go there then if you can if you want a video camera you can uh, uh, go to video camera option so those are the options here if you want to record video you can do it from here and uh, you can change the settings from here then you have the option from the sidebar to change the settings as we discussed so we'll take a quite a few snaps out of this and then see the quality. So now let's uh, go to the gallery. You can just flip from here and then go to the gallery. Or you can uh, see the photo from here. The latest photos are available here. Only the la You can just flip here and see the photos. So that's pretty handy feature. So overall, uh, a decent camera app. Uh, this is uh, just in beta phase, so you might encounter bugs. But overall, uh, just a good uh, app. You have uh, quite a lot of features, and these features uh, mainly depend upon the device you are using. Uh, not all features are available for uh, all devices. Uh, so depends upon which device you are using. There are quite a lot of additional features if you are using a Sony Xperia phone. So those are uh, available only for Xperia devices. So overall uh, looks like a pretty decent app. Um, so you can uh, try this out. The app is free of cost and you can download from the Android uh, Play Store and install it on your Android phone. So that's all guys. So thanks for watching the video.